obviously uh, I've, I haven't been out here and uh, I'm not one to, to follow that kind of stuff. I understand that PK is a very popular player here and I understand the fans are very passionate. So uh, hopefully I can and come here and uh, help this team win and, and that's the, the bottom line is winning games. You're an accomplished player in the league, you have an impressive resume already. Uh, how confident are you that after a couple of games set in, the fans will follow up with you the way they fell in love with your predecessor? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I'm not worried about that. Uh, I, like I said, I'm here to, to help this team win games. I think we've uh, uh, put together a really good team, a competitive team that uh, can compete this year, and I'm looking forward to fitting in with this group. And um, it's an exciting time, exciting time to be here. Jay, as someone who has only worn one NHL jersey in their career before now, what was it like when yesterday you put on that Habs jersey for the first time? It was actually, it was unbelievable. Uh, all the history, the... Um, you, you look around the locker room as, at, the, at the practice rink there in Broussard and you look around the locker room and all the guys on the wall and the history and the original six team, it was, uh, you know, it sends chills down your spine and it's uh, um, almost a surreal feeling and, and um, definitely excited and um, looking forward to, to playing in front of these fans every night. Michelle just said, welcome to Montreal. Is this a real welcome to Montreal home in a month before training camp to walk into a scrum like this? <laughs> I guess so. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, you know, this is, uh, we felt like this is a good time to, to come out here. There's a lot of guys on the team and that was a chance to, to meet them uh, personally and obviously the staff and everyone and, and get to know everyone before, uh, beforehand and especially with the, the World Cup, it's going to be a short turnaround uh, uh, come at the end of training camp. People, people who play with you, you know, recognize you as a pretty even keel person, calm person. Because of that, are you more prepared to face, to manage the, the passion of this market and the passion about the tree, uh, around the tree? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for the passion. It's uh, it's exciting to be back in Canada, uh, let alone like the, the mecca of hockey, the place where people just uh, eat, sleep and breathe hockey. It's going to be uh, something uh, something new, but I'm definitely looking forward to it. So you've, been, you've been the image of the National Predators for so many seasons. On a personal note, was it tough to accept when a first moment when you received a call saying you were going to Montreal? Yeah, for sure. I think uh, I think any human being. I think uh, you know I, I was there for 11 years, and uh, you, you expect to to play in one one city in your career. But at the end of the day, it's uh, it's a business, and um, I'm more than excited to, to be here and uh, have an opportunity to win with these guys, and especially uh, looking around the the room yesterday and, and seeing the guys we have and, and knowing that we've got a chance to win, it's going to be pretty good. Have you received any tip from Kerry Price? I know you've been training with him in Kelowna, but have you received any, any tip for him, from him? <laughs> uh, yeah, Kerry, I mean, Kerry's a quiet guy, obviously. Uh, Kerry came over on uh, Thursday, I think it was. Him and his wife came over for dinner, so uh, got to know a little bit uh, a little bit about uh, Montreal and, and his words, and obviously as we, as we go along here, we'll uh, continue to build a, a stronger relationship. You, you had a few days with Max and, and Carrie, as you said. Will it be easier for you to fit in in the role of, you know, in the leader role? Uh, because you, you had time with these guys, with the leader of this team. Yeah, I think that was the idea. Um, obviously, uh, I talked to Patch on the phone right after the trade, and um, coming here helps uh, get to know them on a personal level and and hopefully make the transition easier and, and hopefully I can fit into the locker room right away. I've heard it's a, a great core, good nucleus of guys and um, I just want to fit in, be a piece of uh, a winning winning formula and, and moving forward. You've been, you've been playing with Alex Rodulov in Nashville. Uh, do you have the feeling that he's coming back to the NHL maybe to change a little bit the image or the reputation that he was having this last year? Yeah, yeah, obviously uh, Rads, is, I think he's got a lot to prove and uh, I talked to him probably three weeks ago, maybe a month ago now and um, he's, he's looking forward to it. He's very excited and I know he's got uh, family now so hopefully uh, you know he's he's here for the right reasons. I think he's a he's a guy that can make a difference. He's a game breaker and, and playing with him you know that he's uh, he's a top end talent and, and definitely a, a good piece for our team. Yeah, obviously you know, you're no. being a quiet, you're speaking, you obviously played in a small market and actually a smaller market. I'm guessing there are about 60 people around the stall at any are you okay with all this? Like, this is from a comfort zone standpoint. Are you ready for this? Sure, if you guys want to follow me around all the time. <laughs> it'll, it, it'll be, yeah, it'll be adjustment for sure. But, uh, um, you know, it's it's part of it. Obviously, it's, uh, like I said, it's the, the passion in the city. People want to hear about uh, about the team, learn about the team in, in any little aspect. And uh, and that's the way it is. How many obviously you know you're not involved? It's a loaded question. Uh, <laughs> 
I guess it depends whose golf tournament it is. <laughs> what was the ride like here with uh, riding with Max? What was the conversation like? What was your thoughts? Yeah, it was good. It was good, yeah. Um, obviously, we grabbed dinner together last night and uh, got to chat to chat with him. So, he uh, um, seems like a great guy, and obviously, he's a great player. I've seen uh, seen him on the ice, so looking forward to getting a chance to play with him and uh, along with all the other guys. Can you do that as first year captain last year? How do you feel that you can get involved in the leadership part of the game to make claps and even better captain? Yeah, like I said before, I just want to fit in. Uh, I want to fit in with these guys, get to know them a little bit before, uh, you know, it's uh, it seems like a great group. And, and obviously, uh, you know, Max is the captain and, and we're all going to support him. And, and that's the thing is everybody around has got to buy into the system and, and buy into the, the program and, and everything goes well. How did you react when you heard you were traded for PK shit? Yeah, it was obviously initial shock. Um, I don't think it was the fact that I was traded for PK, just the, the fact that I was traded. So uh, shock and then excitement. It just goes to, you know, you, you find out where you're going and it's such a good city and such a, uh, a great place to play hockey. I'm definitely looking forward to it. Have you settled in yet? Do you have a place? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, got a house. Uh, so looking, went and looked at it yesterday and um, everything looks good. So looking forward to, to moving in and um, yeah, getting settled. Hopefully being here for a long time. How do you feel about the fact that you're Good. Yeah, they're excited. They're uh, they're really happy to be back in Canada. Um, you know, it's uh, they're they're both far from from home, but at the same time, Canada is being in Canada, and, and that's uh, that's an exciting thing. And um, the passion here is uh, not only in in Canada but in Montreal is through the roof. How it will be for your family, Shay? I mean, moving I mean, in, a, in a French environment like this, how it will be for the Shea Weber's family? Uh, hopefully good. Uh, we wanted our kids to learn French anyway, so uh, this will be easier way. <laughs> We're not going to have to teach them ourselves. <laughs> there's, there's <laughs> injured, uh, to having a, a letter on, on your jersey, but does it mean something to come to Montreal and, and be given an A here right away? Yeah, without a doubt. Uh, it means a lot. I, was, uh, I wasn't expecting that at all, obviously, uh, being new to the team. and. I'm very grateful and, and hopefully I can just uh, just help this team be successful and, and win games. Shay, there's a lot of people that expect you to, to help with the lead in the room. How do you handle the pressure that? Uh, There's pressure everywhere you go. I mean, uh, you play in international events, there's pressure. You play in the playoffs, there's pressure. Um, it's just something you have to deal with. And, and I don't think you, you think about it a whole lot. I just think you be yourself. and. Uh, do what got you here, and I think that's uh, that's all anyone can ask. Shay, it's the first time you've been you've been part of a trade. Is there a question of pride, maybe that you want to prove that the Canadian did the right thing? Uh, yeah, there's. I think yeah, there's a, definitely an excitement that uh, that a team wants you. They traded for you, so they want you, and uh, obviously you want to come here and um, <laughs> be a piece and be a part of uh, what they're going for. They made uh, some good acquisitions this off season. I think. Uh, that are going to help push this team forward, some good character guys, and um, you know to fit in with the pieces that they've had with a healthy carry price, and I think it's uh, it's going to be a good season. What do you expect your role to be? Uh, hopefully the, uh, the norm. I mean, uh, whatever coach wants, I, I'll do. I'm, I'm one of those guys that just uh, buys into the system, will do what the team needs, and uh, sacrifice and do whatever. What do you think about playing in the opening night and what that, that will be like? Sorry. Sorry, which one? Do you think about that opening night at all and what that will be like to hear your name being called by Michelle Aquan? Yeah, yeah, I mean, um, playing on the road here is one thing, but being able to play here at home and uh, in front of these fans, it's, uh, I mean, it's, you just get chills and shivers thinking about it. It's, uh, I know everyone that, uh, that I've played with circles the, the date on the calendar when you're coming to Montreal, so let alone being able to play here for 41 games is going to be pretty special. What do you like from this team? Now? I mean, on paper, right away. Uh, well, you know the speed. I remember from playing them last year, speed. Uh, a lot of speed, obviously the best goalie in the world, um, a good defensive core. and um, I mean, that's all the teams are built around, is, is especially nowadays, is you, you got to play with speed. It's a fast game. You saw the, the Penguins were a quick team. They won the Stanley Cup, and I think that uh, we've got that speed and, and skill, and we're going to have a lot of character as well. What do you think about playing in the U.S.? lighter travel schedule, different type of competition, different type of game? Yeah, it's going to be, a, I think, a little bit of an adjustment at first. Obviously, you only play those teams once uh, or twice a year now um, with the, the change. So uh, get to, getting to know guys like you, you did in your division uh, in the past is, it might take a little bit of time, a little more studying. But um, 
I mean, for the most part, you play against a lot of guys in different events, and um, I'm definitely looking forward to the to the travel. That's uh, that should be an easier easier part uh, uh, than going cross country uh, as much as we did last year in the playoffs. In a, in a crazy market like Montreal, we will always be comparing your stats with Pique Subban. Probably after 10 games, 20 games, 40 games, 80 games. Are you ready to be living with that type of comparison? <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead. Uh, I've had uh, I've had slow starts, I've had fast starts. It all seems to, to work out to the same. So um, thankfully I've, I've been fairly consistent through my career. And um, you know what, it, it's not even about the, the stats. Obviously the, the biggest thing here is winning games. And as long as we're winning games, it doesn't matter. I could care less if I've got a point or not. If, if we're winning, that's the biggest thing and, and the team being successful. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be different for sure. Um, there's no, it's not going to be a, a normal training camp. Obviously, we'll have our training camps with uh, uh, our respective uh, international teams, and then uh, um, guys are going to be going. It's right away. I think we got a back to back with the U.S. right away, so it's going to be. Uh, you got to make sure you're ready. Get your your training in, in the summer and uh, be ready to go uh, for the tournament, which will lead you into, I'm sure, right into the season. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean. Uh, Kerry, like I said, Kerry was over the other night, skated with Kerry I think three times last week and he's feeling good and that's all you can ask for. A healthy Kerry Price is, uh, is, is the key in, in going forward. And, and you feel it's a big part of your role to make sure he stays healthy? Well, he's I'm going to try. I mean, he, he's probably tougher than I am, so at least he'll tell you that. Uh, you know what, it's, it's kind of... Um, it was given to me at World Juniors, and uh, I guess I can walk you through the story. I wore two in, uh, in junior, um, and then I wore four in Milwaukee. And both those numbers were taken in, uh, in Nashville by Ham Houston and uh, Mark Eaton. So uh, the last number I wore was six, and so I took six in Nashville, and it's just been my number since. There's so many legends who have played for the Canadians. When you were growing up, was there one Canadian player that you sort of admired or idolized? Uh, to be honest with you, out west we uh, we didn't watch the Canadians a whole lot. It was a lot of the Canucks and, and the Flames and whatnot. So uh, um, can't really pinpoint one guy, but uh, obviously there's a lot of history and 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 that's pretty cool. That's uh, it's going to be awesome to see those guys around the rink and and just to get to shake their hand. It's going to be awesome.